Hola clase, soy Senora Griffin. This is our lesson on adding the pronouns to our informal commands. We'll start off with some examples. Pontelo is the affirmative command, as in coge tu sombrero y pontelo, grab your hat and put it on. And then the negative version of this, the negative command, no te lo pongas, don't put it on yourself. Notice here that not only do we have different command forms, we also have different placement for our pronouns. When we're adding the pronouns, it's useful to remember our chant, el canto. For pronouns with commands, it's not too hard to catch. Negatives before and affirmatives attach. Meaning, when you have to add pronouns with negative commands, the pronouns will always come in front and before the command. And with affirmative commands, they will come attached to and after the command. For the order of the pronouns, orden de los pronombres, we have the R, I, D reminder, the reflexive, then the indirect, then the direct pronouns. You could have two or just one of these um, three pronouns attached to an affirmative command, but remember that in negative commands, the pronouns always come in front. We might say, Tienes un secreto? And then the person could say, Oh, entonces, dímelo. So, tell me it. Here, the indirect object pronoun is the me. Tell it to me. And then the direct object pronoun is the lo. So, you're going to remember that you put the me before the lo because the indirect comes before the direct object pronoun. So, we have the reminder there in the corner on the right, R-I-D reflexive, indirect, direct. For accenting, for putting accents on words, if you're going to attach pronouns to an affirmative command, you're probably going to need to add an accent. There are some cases where it's short enough that you don't have to, but usually you'll need to add an accent. The first technique is you just remember that you need to conserve the original stress in the command. So, if you're going to ask someone to wash their hands, you say, wash your hands, you want to say, wash them. We're going to use the verb lavarse, the reflexive verb, and las manos. Then we're going to have lava, and then the te is the reflexive pronoun. And the las stands for las manos, so that's the direct object pronoun. All together then, we put them all together and we say lava te las. Because lava was the original stress on the command, we want to conserve that stress. So we're going to put the accent, the written accent, over the first A in Lava te las. Hope that made sense. Let's see one more example here. Um, one example that um, I say a lot to my students um, sounds like levantate, and we have stand up or get up. We have the verb levantarse. It's reflexive, so we have levanta, and then the te, and all together we'll have levantate. Sometimes you hear levantense, which is the ustedes command. Today we're just working on the informal mandato in the two form. So, as a reminder, our abridged accent song, if the ending of a word's a vowel, N or S, the penultimate syllable, meaning the second to last syllable, will get the natural stress. So this lets us know how, um, how we pronounce words when they don't have an accent. So this will help out a lot with um, knowing where the original accent is on the command. This goes to the tune of the Mickey Mouse Club uh, song. If the ending of a word's a vowel and a s, the syllable penultimate will get the natural stress. This is the abridged version. So that helps you remember where the s natural stress goes on a word. If it ends in a vowel, n or s, then it goes on the penultimate syllable. For accents, the other technique, which is technica numero dos, is just count. Some people like this because you don't have to feel where the stress is, you just count back. This usually works. If you attach one pronoun, count back three vowel vowels for the accent mark. Like in the word levantate that we just did before, you'll notice that if you count back um, three vowels, uno, dos, tres, then the accent appears over the a ah in levantate, the first a. Ah. If you attach two pronouns, you count back four vowels for the accent mark, like in lavatelas for wash your own hands. Hope that made sense. Gracias.